Welcome. Thank you for coming tonight. This is our second night of the one one laptop rollout here at the high school. Uh, this this night has been two years in the making. Roger Warren came to uh, our school board two years ago with a technology plan, and the top thing on his list was to try to get a one one initiative here at the high school. So before we get started tonight, uh, there's a couple people I'd like to go ahead and thank for helping us make this initiative come to fruition. The first is our school board. Uh, Christy Pellet is our board president. Dennis Davis is the vice president. Bill Haskell, Rod Hartwick, and Josh McLaren are the other board members. I'd also like to thank Paul Goody and First Whitney Bank for their generous donation to help us get this underway. And then last but not least, I'd like to go ahead and uh, thank our technology staff. Uh, they've spent this summer, most of the time when I've seen them this summer, they've been moving very quickly, and it's pretty been, much been all summer. So I'd like to go ahead and recognize them for the hard work that they've put into it. Uh, the first person I'd like to recognize is our technology coordinator, Mr. Roger Warren. Uh, I would also like to recognize Jessica Pencil. And then the last person, and she's not here tonight, is Stacy Sorensen. I want to thank you for coming tonight, and uh, I think this will open the door to a new era here in, in Atlantic, and especially at the high school. It'll be really interesting to see in the classroom how uh, all this works out. But next on the agenda is uh, Officer Corey Larson with the Sheriff's Department, and he's going to talk a little bit about Sunday Thank you, How is everyone? Good. It's an exciting time, right? Laptops. Um, I just want to go over a few things with you guys tonight. Try not to bore you too much. Um, there's a few things on my end as far as law enforcement that I have to deal with with um, the bullying, harassment, and also the issues with the devices that the schools hand out. Uh, Cam and Grizzle already have two districts that have one-to-one, -one, so I'm a little bit familiar with the process and the way uh, things go with the computers. Um, things we use every day, YouTube, Google, Twitter, uh, whatever type of uh, site you're using, there's always safety factors. Um, the one thing that I always tell kids, tell people in general, if there's something that you're typing, you're going to send to someone, and in the back of your mind, you stop for a second and you think, should I send it? If it's going to be something negative that's going to get you in trouble, uh, you know, you don't want to push that send button. But if it's something that just makes you think for a second, you don't want to send it because that's where I get involved uh, most of the time. So that's the main thing. If you, if you, if you get that little feeling, that's not send it. Um, and we're on sites daily. Uh, myself, I got a computer in the truck, uh, eight hours a day. I'm always using the computer or my phone. Uh, electronic devices, we use them every day. So they're, they're very important to us. Uh, everything that I do is computer related. All of our paperwork. It's a lot of fun, right? Cyberbullying. Being cruel to others by sending or posting harmful material using technological means. An individual or group that uses information and communication involving electronic technologies to facilitate, deliberate, and repeated harassment or threat to an individual or group. Be one person of the group. You can still harass um, single or multiple people. Also known as uh, electronic bullying, was just the, the end there. Things we use: email, cell phones, pagers. We don't have very many pagers anymore. Instant messaging, defamatory personal websites, defamatory online personal polling websites, and chat rooms. There's a lot of different places. Uh, with these computers that you get, you have to remember that they're school property. They're 
There's certain websites, certain places that you should not be with that computer. That will also be covered on uh, some of the things later on with your uh, classes that tell you the same thing. You shouldn't be on certain uh, sites. Cyberbullying types. We have plenty. Online fights using electronic messages with anger and vulgar language. Uh, a lot of times, in reality, if you're using a computer, if you're on a site, you're not supposed to be using vulgar language anyway. Um, but that happens. Harassment. Repeatedly sending offensive, rude, and insulting messages. Um, you have to remember, do you like to have the messages sent to you? Do you like to be uh, picked on? Do you like to have names called, etc.? Um, the continual harassment. Cyber stalking. Repeatedly sending messages that include threats of harm or are highly intimidating. Engaging in other online activities that make a person afraid for his or, own, his or her own safety. Um, this happens a ton because it's a lot easier this day and age to harass someone, to make them mad, to make them feel uncomfortable, and you can do it online, right? We don't have the face-to-face. -face. Uh, back in the old days, it was different, right? It was personal. It's a lot closer. Denigration. Dissing someone online. Sending or posting cruel gossip or rumors about a person to damage his or her reputation or friendships. That's big in school, right? We don't want to have that, uh, that bad thing going around about us. That name, whatever they put on there. We don't want to be uh, out in the limelight like that. Impersonation. Tending to be someone else and sending or posting material online that makes that person look bad, gets that person in trouble or danger, or damages that person's reputation or friendships. Because friendships are important. We don't want it to be that uh, the harassment leads to losing friends. Outing and trickery. Sharing someone's secret or embarrassing information online. This happens a lot. I get called because you've used somebody's information online. Um, tricking someone into revealing secrets or embarrassing information which is then shared online. And then exclusion. Intentionally excluding someone from an online group like a buddy list. Uh, criminal law limits. All in kinds of speech can lead to an arrest or prosecution. Making threats of violence to people or their property. Even if you just tell that person that you're going to beat them up. That can basically get you in trouble. Uh, engaging in coercion, making obscene or harassing phone calls, harassment or stalking, hate or bias crimes, creating or sending sexually explicit images of teens. You have to stop for a minute. This happens every year. Uh, you're not supposed to take certain pictures of yourself and send them to someone. And every year I get three or four of these. It's a serious misdemeanor in Iowa if you take a picture of yourself unclothed and send it to another person. Boyfriend, girlfriend, even if they have permission, uh, it, it doesn't matter. It's still against the law. And it happens all the time. And that's just something gross anyway that I don't like to deal with, right? Um, sexual exploitation. And taking a photo of someone in a place where privacy is expected. Don't go in the bathroom and say, hey, smile take a picture of them. That happens too. The bathroom is the private spot, right? You don't want to have your picture taken. Uh, there are programs. What everyone needs to know about cyberbullying. The education of children is important. All actions have consequences, like I said. If for that second, you're thinking, should I send this, should I not, don't send it. If you think you should send it, but you still have a question, Call me and ask me. I'll let you know. you know. But don't get in trouble. Cyberbullying hurts. Like I said, we don't like to be called names, right? They're just being used and manipulated by a cyberbully. Cyberbullying and accomplices often become the target of cyberbullying themselves. A lot of times what happens is it gets sent out there. That person has started a fight, started an argument. Well, then you sent something back to them. If someone has sent you something bad online, 
don't play the game and don't send it back to them. You know, contact someone at the school, contact me, let us take care of it, but don't turn it into some larger drama thing that uh, it doesn't need to be. Care about others and stand up for what's right. I tell a lot of kids, if you're a friend of someone and they're being harassed and they don't want to come to the cop and talk to him or her about it, you know, be that big friend, be the good person, stand up for them, try and help them out. Uh, I do like to talk to people. I'm not too scared, I don't think. So you can come and talk to me. Basically, the tool that you have, which is going to be this laptop, is a privilege. It's not a right. Okay. Uh, it's a learning tool, something for you to learn and not to take advantage of. The laptop is school property. That's a, that's a huge thing because a lot of people still think whatever they use the laptop for, uh, it's their personal information. No. Um, at any time we can come get the laptop if there's an issue, and usually that's me that takes it. Um, it is school property. Hopefully you guys have a good year. And if there are questions that you have, you need to get a hold of me. My information online, just go to the Sheriff's webpage, and my name's right on there. Click on there, send me an email. I try and answer it every day, hopefully. Or else you can call the school or call our office. You guys have a great year. Thank you.